friends, I am super excited to show you how to make your very own bleeding watercolor tissue paper using markers and coffee filters. I learned this trick from an awesome art teacher named Mrs. Eddington, and she is a total rock star, so a big thank you to her. So the first part of this process, you're gonna need coffee filters. I have mine right here, and they can be tricksy. Make sure you only have one at a time, and you need some washable markers. You don't want permanent markers because if you add water to permanent markers, nothing will happen. You need the water washable um, markers to make the water uh, react to them later on, and you'll see what I mean. So let's get going. The first thing you're gonna do is just color this entire coffee filter with color. I recommend you use similar colors, analogous colors, which means colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, colors that are similar to each other's. If you use colors that are opposite of each other, you might get brown, which could be totally awesome and exactly what you're going for, but I am gonna stick to using my warm colors and cool colors, but I might do a little mixing along the way because I love a good experiment. You're gonna notice I also have a scrap piece of paper behind me because when I color on this coffee filter, whoosh, it's gonna go right through. So here we go. You can just literally fill this with color, but be gentle with your markers. They do not like to scribble and scrabble. That's how the ink gets super shy and runs away and it gets super dry and scratchy. Go gentle, gentle stroke, 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 and let the marker breathe. Stroke, 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 let the marker breathe. Maybe I'll have another little bit of red over here. You're gonna need to hold down your coffee filters as you work, because they want to pop, pop, pop up, but that's okay. Let's add some orange. And it doesn't matter what your design is here, because you are going to be cutting these up later. Doesn't matter. Let's get a different orange here. Ooh, I like that one. Alrighty, now that we have at least two or three coffee filters totally colored, look at them on the back side, see? Either way, they can sit there. You're gonna stack them. It's much easier to cut these together than it is when they're all um, one by one because they're so thin. So you're gonna grab a pair of scissors here, hold it tight, 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 and you can cut right down the middle if you want to. Excuse my scissors, they are very squeaky. Awesome. And then just keep cutting this way. Not too small. You don't wanna work with teeny weeny pieces, okay? There you go. I bet this one's a little big. We can cut that one in half. And you can make small piles. This one's fine. I don't need to cut that one again. That one's cool beans. Now mine are just in a random pile. I like to keep it a surprise of what I'll get. So now that I have cut up all of my coffee filters with marker on them, they are ready to be applied to a drawing of my choice. Now you can draw anything you want. I have chosen to do an abstract drawing. And to make this, all I did was make some zigzag and horizontal, vertical and diagonal lines. And then anywhere they met, I added a curvy spot. So I can show you really quick how I did that. Say I added a line right here. You see how there's a little point, point and there's a little corner that meets? All you have to do is round off the corners by adding a little C and then you color it in. But it's every point. This is just a cool abstract thing that I learned from a friend the other day named Chris. She's awesome. And then I curve. See how I rounded off both, all of those corners? So that's what I did here to make this design. Anyways, I like abstract art and that's what I wanted to use for my tissue paper bleed. So let's talk again about the bleed. It is not a scary bleed, it is an art bleed, which means to spread out. So what you're gonna need is a cup of water, a handy dandy brush, 
and of course your coffee filters. I am using a plastic surface so I don't need a messy mat, but you should have a messy mat underneath your work when you are painting. Let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and place one of my pieces down. If you wanna place a couple, you can. You don't have to. Um, I'll show you a couple at a time. Either way, if these get mixed up, it doesn't matter front or back, they will work. So let's say I planned it like that. You don't have to. I actually don't want that one next door. It's too similar. I think I want this one here. Yes. Now, you can do them all at once or one at a time. What you do is you apply, dip your water in, brush into the water, and you color right over it. This is way number one. And you watch the colors <gasps> melt onto your page or bleed onto the page. The next way you can do this is to add water first, then add your tissue. Ooh, and see how that spreads out with an extra layer. This is the way I like to do best. I like to add a lot of water. Now I have watercolor paper, so it, the water can stand to sit here. If you just have drawing paper, I would do it one at a time. And then of course you wanna go over it with a second layer of water. So to explain that a little better, all you have to do is wet the page, add your filter piece or your bleeding tissue paper, and then add one more layer of water. As you can see, they really spread out fast. So you'll wanna go at a focused and speedy pace. All right, so as you can see, I have covered my entire paper with my coffee filter, tissue paper, bleeding watercolor stuff. I know it's a big mouthful. As you can see down here, I didn't have enough pieces. So instead of moving anything around, what you can do is just sort of tap your brush over one area and add color to another. Because remember, this tissue paper bleeds. The colors spread out. So you can always scoot them to new locations. Check that out, pretty cool, huh? So you don't need to worry about those little spots. As long as you let your brush scoot on over them, you should be just fine. Mmm, yes, blah, blah. Now comes the important part. Let this dry completely. When it's dry, these little pieces of tissue paper are gonna pop right off and you can put them right in the trash. I'll check back with you when mine is all dry. And there you have it. My abstract piece of art is dry. I took the coffee filter pieces off and just put them right into the trash, but you could keep yours and for another project and glue them on as little like flowers or something too because the actual scraps look quite pretty. Now, I just wanted to go over one quick thing now that I see my final piece. Anywhere where I see white, that means maybe I needed to add a bit more water with my brush after I placed my homemade tissue paper down. Over here you can see I had a lot of great overlapping and my colors were able to bleed onto the page very smoothly. Over here, I may or may not have rushed a little bit. So next time I'll really take my time and make sure I add just those little extra layers of water to make sure my, my color can bleed from the tissue paper or coffee filter right onto my page. That, as they say, is that my friends. Can't wait to see what you make with your homemade bleeding watercolor tissue paper. Thank you.